Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business strategist and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And I want to ask you, do you have women clients? Or rather, do you want women clients? So I wanted to do this video because number one, I'm a woman. So I understand women, uh, women at a deep level. In addition, I actually have women clients. I have men clients as well, but uh, women, we're very different species. And understanding how to get them to say yes is really not about trying to convince them or anything that has to do with sleazy selling. So today, today's subject is we are going to learn how to inspire women clients to say yes. So if you get any value from this uh, or if you'd like to invite your friends now, I'd appreciate if you share this broadcast because I think that, you know, we're all purposeful people who want to help other people. And when we can help, uh, help others understand the answers, we can make this world a better place. So if you get any value from this, I'd appreciate if you share this with anybody. But I want to start with some facts. So this is really surprising. I actually just uh, I looked this up right before I got on. But 85% of buying decisions for a, a family are made by women. Actually, that's not very surprising. I mean, women love to shop, period. And so usually women are the caretaker of the family. Whether you're in a, a one person household or you, are, you have an entire family, kids and a husband, usually women are the one who take charge and go and buy things and, uh, and manage the budget. In addition, so 85, 80 per, I'm sorry, 80% of all, this is, <laughs> this is funny, of co the combined incomes are spent by women. As I said, we like to shop. And so marketing to women, uh, if that's what your business does, is something that's really important by understanding that marketing to women is very different than, uh, than marketing to men. Um, so first of all, uh, I want you to understand, you know, this is, all based on the three brain science, the science of the three brains, how we as humans, you, me, and your clients have three brains, your fight or flight brain, your fear brain, your emotional brain, the one where the gut heartfelt decisions are made, and then your stupid thinking brain, the one that justifies everything. And it goes in that order. So when you go and you try to market anything to anybody, man or woman, you have to understand that in order to get people to even see you, let alone see you as the answer, you have to bypass the fight or flight brain, the fear brain. But where you really want to go to is the emotional brain, which is the real decision-making one or the one that you actually want to reach. So this is not about sleazy selling. This is about inspiring women to have a heartfelt gut reaction. So this is why selling is not sleazy. And I have a whole guide on conscious selling. If you wanna, um, if you wanna download that, that's at, or uh, if you wanna find that, it's at tinyurl dot com backslash conscious dash selling but it's about understanding the selling process to help people uh, uh, make those heartfelt decisions just like how you fall in love um, with with your mate you don't consciously think I'm gonna be in love just like that that's actually what strategic marketing is is that you are not convincing people to say yes, you're inspiring them. So women, you know, we, we, we're human, so we make decisions from our emotional brain, but women, we're very, uh, we like to rationalize things. So 
if you are a woman and you're watching this, I don't know if you've ever gone shopping, not for anything specific, like you walk into Zara like I did the other day. A lot of people commented on my shoes, which I love. I wasn't planning on buying shoes. I don't need shoes. I didn't want to buy shoes. I'm trying to save money. And there I go in Zara and uh, there's those shoes, these amazing mules and they weren't very expensive. And so, uh, you know, that was an emotional like, oh my God, I really need those. And then my stupid thinking brain the one that comes up with all those rationalizations was like, well, if I don't buy these, they're going to be gone tomorrow. <laughs> if I don't add these to my wardrobe, how am I going to take these great pictures with my watch and my shoes for Instagram for my business? <laughs> how am I going to uh, walk in the summer if I don't have these great colorful mules to my wardrobe? And so all these rationalizations came in Uh, But the first decision was the emotional one. And then my stupid thinking brain made me buy it because I justified it away. So that's kind of how women make decisions. Not saying that we're stupid, but we have that rationalization. So when you go and you want to inspire women to say yes, first you need to get past that fear brain the fight or flight one, which means that, you know, that one is, is, uh, number one, doesn't want to be sold to. Number two has a lot of other things. You know, I, I said, I told you the other day that our stupid thinking brain sucks a lot of energy from us. So that fight or flight brain tries to keep our, our thinking brain from having to go through that heavy download of, rationalizing those shoes so so that fight or flight brain right now especially for women you know I just said they they make 80% of the um, they they spend 80% of the money they buy 85% of the things that people spend women have a lot of responsibility they've got screaming kids in the background Um, they they have uh, maybe their own business they have uh, to take the kids to school. They have a husband that needs the, their help. They have to make dinner. Whatever it is that your women clients or potential clients are dealing with is what they're dealing with that you actually need to get past, even if it's as simple as something like the distraction in their lives from Facebook or from them not wanting to address the problem that you solve. So understanding how to get past that fight or flight brain means you need to address whatever issues your clients are facing, which means you have to understand what those issues are. And they're not some made up issues. If your business is positioned correctly, your clients are you before you discovered the solution, which means that what problems are you facing? What problems did you have to overcome so so you could find your magical solution? That's that's getting past that and then working that into your marketing. Then women, we're very smart and we can pick up on authenticity. Now, authenticity is such an overused word. I'm authentic, you know, wow, I'm so real. And then there you go, like they're taking like a persuasion class. Women are very smart. We are very intelligent. And not through our stupid thinking brains that justify those shoes, but we're very intuitive. Yes, you don't have to be a spirit junkie to be intuitive. We just have this inner knowing And when you can tap into that inner knowing, then you understand that, uh, that it's not our stupid thinking brain that's going to pick something up. We actually pick up, uh, I call it the thing behind the thing. (laughs) It's something that's an inter our internal guidance system that can tell when somebody is just putting on a show like they're just reading a script or they, uh, they don't really know what they're talking about. 
And, you know, that's when like the ding, ding, ding goes off and you're like, whoa, you know, there's something like really weird and you want to run. Um, we're very intuitive. So you can't actually convince somebody, man or woman, to buy something from you. This is where I, I differ from uh, some people who are teaching persuasion, is that when I hear persuasion, uh, I, I think of just doing things outside of you or trying to learn something that's outside of you to convince somebody to work with you, which to me is very inauthentic. It may work if you pull the right triggers, you know, make a million dollars and you're really like trying to get to people who, who are dying to make money or, you know, whatever. And it's not the seller's fault. It's really the buyer's fault. But, um, uh, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about understanding how to inspire people to say yes, because the real trick to understanding how to attract and convert your women clients is by understanding how to get them to say yes, not to you, but to themselves. So if you're a woman, you may understand this at a very deep level, but we are very much all about other people. We want to take care of the family. I have a dog. I want to take care of my friends. I try to help people even when it's inconvenient for me at the grocery store. <laughs> because women are nurturers. We were born nurturers. And so what ends up happening, you know, the kids are screaming in the background, your husband needs you, all these things, is that all this nurturing has subconsciously made us not nurture ourselves. So I have a couple of, of um, mommy clients and they, the reason why they have a business is that they were able to understand how to overcome this nurturing thing so that they can not only help their clients manage the family, but also give to themselves. And so whether or not your, your clients have kids, if they're a woman, you know, saying yes to themselves has become almost like a, uh, I'm sorry, saying, saying, not saying yes to themselves has almost become a daily habit that we, we think about other people first. So what ends up happening, like I know for my clients is that, uh, it, it happens just the opposite way. So if you have a business and you're trying to get women to say yes to you, if you get so caught up trying to understand how to market to them, how to build a list, how to do all these things, suddenly you're not actually focused on uh, who you are and the answers that you have. And so you start focusing on tactical things. I got to build a list. I got to do this. I got to do my social media and you stop being you, you stop, you start doing and you stop being. And the, the thing about marketing and being authentic and inspiring women to say yes is about being, you know, one of the things that I say in my business is marketing is easy when you make it a part of you. I'll use fashion bloggers as an example. You know, fashion bloggers, they don't try to get 10,000 likes or followers or whatever. They have millions. <laughs> when I watch their training videos of people who help bloggers, they like talk about getting 10,000 followers, you know, 100,000, like it's like the bottom level <laughs> because they don't, they don't, they don't teach tricks for those people to attract people. They teach them how to, um, how to make what they, who they are more of them so that people see them on the outside. Social media is like the last thing they add to the mix.
And because of it, they get millions of women followers to say yes. And they make millions in a very different way than I see a lot of entrepreneurs trying to make money, let alone, you know, trying to make uh, support their family, let alone make millions. And so even if you look at the top business people, whoever it is that you, um, that you aspire to be, let's say that, you know, they've made money instead of looking at what they do, I'd like, I'd like for you just to tonight, look at who they are and who they are in their business and maybe understand how that plays into how they inspire women to say yes. I have to tell you that if you are having trouble seeing this, there's something inside of you that's blocking you. And I believe it's the way that you understand your personal value is that our value and how we understand it, which is really how we understand how our lives, who we are as a person fit into the world as a whole, you know, at, when we wake up every day, who are we to ourselves and to the outside world and understanding that and being able to say yes to yourself when you wake up every day and saying, I'm okay. I know, I may not know how, but I know I have that inner knowing about myself. Then when you go and you apply it to your business, you kind of have that inner knowing on the outside. Leadership is influence. Selling is influence. It's not persuasion. It's just having a business that solves an urgent problem. It solves a problem, which is the thing they buy, and the urgent problem, which is the thing that inspires them to say yes. And that's found in your value and your personal story. So I hope that that's helped you a little bit understand that this has nothing to do with selling what this, the title of this broadcast is, inspiring women to say yes. And when you can understand how to inspire your clients to say yes to themselves, you will be one step closer to inspiring them to say yes to you. So I hope you will take the suggestions I have in this video and, uh, and use them for greater good. Obviously, you know, you could use this uh, for bad, but I know if you're watching this and you're watching me, you want to help people. And I want to help you um, help change people so we can change the world to be a better place for our kids, for our families, and for ourselves. And also, if you uh, get a chance and you want to uh, um, really find out how to uh, understand the five-figure formula, which is making five figures in your business every month, uh, please log in, or the link is actually at the bottom of this post, and share it with your friends. Because this isn't about some weird secret. I'm actually going to give you a formula that you can apply to your own business, and then you can do whatever you want with it. Okay, so sign up for that. It's going to be on uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry, I keep saying Thursday, but it's actually on Wednesday, which is the day of the new moon. Get excited because there's some change happening um, in the world. And I, you probably feel it inside of you, uh, whatever you believe. But um, this energy is real. All right, so if you got any value from this, please share this with a friend. I'll be back tomorrow. See you guys later. Have a great Sunday night.